Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Baseball Replay Journal as we have another 1908 uh, game for you here. The matchup today is between the uh, St. Louis Browns and the Cleveland Naps. Both of them are at uh, one and one here so far to start the season off. And I'm using yet another angle here with the camera, and uh, we'll see if this one's any better or not. It's really hard to get rid of that glare as George Stone comes up. It's a little, I don't know if you can see that there very well or not. It's a little 53 is what the rule is. Um, gets a little fly ball out there to center field as Birmingham takes that in for one away. One out now here in the uh, top of the first inning for the Browns. There's a little 61. That's going to be a strike. Uh, Liebhart um, doesn't have that W. 23 now. And that's a little fly ball over the right field. And that's Hinchman who's, who gets it. Two away now. Hope Ferris. Hope Ferris. And he hits, um, oh, whoops. I uh, wrote in the wrong uh, number for that. That should be 63. And this is what happens when I change angles. Now there's a little fly ball over to Birmingham at center. And so the um, Browns are able to hit the ball to every one of the uh, Naps outfielders. Here's LeJoie once again. We remember him from the last game. He goes double columns on us right now, right away, and uh, ends up getting a single. Steals second base as Clark comes up there. And there's a runner on second base with nobody out. And Cleveland has a rally. And uh, Clark gets a single to right field, and LeJoie scores. And up comes Stovall, George Stovall now. And uh, he hits a little uh, ground ball over to uh, second base, and uh, the ball, the uh, play is made um, at second, Williams to Wallace. And a little, uh, little uh, fielder's choice for you, and there's one away. And up next is Bill Hinchman. He hits the fly ball over to center field. Hoffman's got that, and there's two away. And there's uh, Bradley, and he hits another fly ball over this time to Stone on the left. And the Naps are done out of the inning with one run. Uh, Jimmy Williams leads off the top of the second inning for the Browns, and he sharply hits a base hit over to uh, uh, right field. And just like that, there's a runner on base. And uh, Danny Hoffman comes up and strikes out, and there's one away. Runner on first base, one away for Roy Hartzell. And uh, let's see, it is a six. And uh, Hartzell ends up uh, rolling into a uh, 27 little uh, ground ball over to third base. And uh, Bradley's going to make that play to second to LeJoie. And there are two away now. And Tom Jones uh, hits a little single over to third. And uh, that uh, sends the runner up to second base with two outs. Tubby Spencer, little pop fly on the infield, and that does it for him. Bottom of the second inning now and is Joe Birmingham for uh, the Naps. And he hits a fly ball over to right field, one away. And here comes Pairing. Pairing gets a ground ball over to third base. That is two away, just like that. Fast-moving ball game. And Clark uh, walks, and here comes the pitcher, Glenn Liebhart, runner on first base. Two outs here, one nothing, um, Cleveland. And uh, that's a little infield hit there by Liebhart. Uh, that sends Clark to second. And here comes LeJoie again, hitting 286 in the season with um, 500 on base percentage. And uh, a lot of at-bats so far. And he hits a little uh, bouncer back to the pitcher, and that is the third out. And up come the Browns, top of the third inning. Powell, the pitcher, starts it off by going far and deep to left center field, and he's going to wind up with a triple there. And uh, you have a runner on third base now for um, St. Louis right away, top of the third inning. And here comes Stone, and uh, we instead of bunting, we have him swing away, and he has a little high foul behind third base, and uh, that one is caught and brought in by pairing for the uh, first out. Wallace now, and he hits a fly ball out there to Hartz, uh, to not Hartzell, but to a henchman rather than right field, and he scores the tying run. It's one to one now, and here's Hope Ferris, and Ferris goes double column uh, dipping, winds up with a uh, double to right center field. Leave Hart not exactly fooling him so far today. Williams with the little ground ball to third base. Bradley makes the play, and that's that. Here we have bottom of the third inning, and uh, Clark gets your little uh, pop fly to right field. It is uh, Hartzell with the catch, one away. Stowell up there, and he strikes out, and there's two away now. And uh, Hinchman gets a single over short. That will prolong this inning. 1-1 one, one now still, and Bradley, boy, Bradley's going to go deep, and is he going to break the tie? Bradley hits a base hit, sends Hitchman to third, and then steals second on the next uh, pitch up to uh, Birmingham. And uh, with two outs, Joe Birmingham, unfortunately, is a strikeout victim. And just like that, we're at the top of the fourth inning now. 1-1 one, one the score, and this is another one of these fast-paced MP3 games as Hoffman gets a single to right field. Why we love these games, because they are fast, 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 baby. Hartzell, and he hits into a double play, and boy, I should have sent the runner. This is what happens when I think I talk too much more than I think. Um, Tom Jones now, and he has a little uh, 
little ground ball to the first base, nothing doing. Here comes George Pairing now for uh, Cleveland, bottom of the fourth inning. Pairing with a uh, little uh, ground ball to uh, to Wallace at short. That's the first out of that inning. Clark now, and Clark hits a little ground ball to Ferris. And uh, up next is Liebhardt, and he strikes out. So Cleveland unable to get the ball out of the infield, and uh, just like that, we're at the top of the fifth inning, and Spencer has a little... A little grounder back to the pitcher, and there's one away, and that's the sort of season this is. Powell hits a little very weak uh, pop-up to Stovall for the second out. Here comes Stone, and Stone hits a ground ball over to third base, and it's Bradley who makes that play, and we're in the bottom of the fifth inning already, just like that. You ever wonder what 1908 was like? This is what it's like. LeJoie comes up, and he strikes out. Josh Clark now, second batter of the inning. He ends up with a uh, single there to left field, and as Stovall comes up on the first pitch, Clark promptly steals second, just as he's supposed to. Now we pause for a second. We sort of think about the situation, and we are going to bunt with Stovall. We might as well. You've seen what happens when we don't bunt, and that's a good bunt down to first base. And uh, Jones fields it, flips it over to Williams, covering from uh, the second base side. And now there are two away, but uh, Clark moves up to third base. If Hinchman can get a base hit, we blow this game open. Open. And there's a little fly ball over there to right field, and Hartzell's under it. He's got to beat on it, and that does it. And we go to the top of the sixth. Wallace now, and Wallace goes double E dipping, single E dipping, and uh, he comes out of that with uh, first base as there is an error as the ball went to pairing at short. Pairing not exactly the best uh, fielding shortstop um, in existence, and here comes Hope Ferris, and uh, Ferris has a 39 on 13, which is a horrible play result, and that means, of course, that Wallace is thrown out stealing, and uh, that is a uh, the first out of the uh, inning. Ferris does get the base hit on the next pitch, but foolishly, he tries to steal as well. And as fair, as was the case with Wallace before him, he too is thrown out. Now, Jimmy Williams gets a base hit, and that is the second Browns hit of the inning. And they end up with nothing in the end as Hoffman strikes out. They can't seem to put two base hits together. Here comes Bradley in the bottom of the sixth inning for Cleveland, and he's hit by the first pitch. And now Cleveland might have something going. We're going to hit and run with Birmingham. And uh, there's a little fly ball to left field, nothing doing. Stone grabs it, and that's one away. Sorry for hitting the camera again. Herring strikes out. There's two away just like that, and here comes Clark. And uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it or not. A roll of 46 is the roll, and Clark strikes out. And we're up to the top of the seventh inning. Hartzell with a fly ball to left field, and Clark is under it for the first out. And Jones with the ground ball to third base, and there's the second out. Boy, this is a lot different than 1949, isn't it? The 33 is the roll by Tubby Spencer, and uh, we wind up with, uh, or St. Louis, rather, winds up with a runner on first base now with two outs. Powell now, and uh, he grounds it out to third base, and that's that. And here comes Liebhardt up again, pitcher up again, bottom of the seventh inning now. And uh, he gets one of those funky little E's, and uh, this is going to be an error. And it is an error. It's an error on the first baseman. So uh, charge that error to Jones. Second error of the ball game. Leave Hart now at first base. And Lejoie just hits a little tapper down to the third base side and uh, moves, this run, moves the uh, man up to uh, second. Here comes Clark with a runner in scoring position. We will have him swing away. And he hits a little tapper over to first base, runner to third. And that's what's set up for George Stovall, who hits a fly ball to right field, and that does it. Top of the eighth inning now for the Browns. Stone, little ground ball that is fielded cleanly by uh, Pairing, who had the air earlier on, one away for the Browns. Wallace gets the base hit uh, through the hole on uh, the uh, right side to right field, and here comes Hope Ferris. Boy, I mean, would you really bunt here with the uh, number three hitter in your lineup? I don't think you have much of a choice. And there's a foul strike. We'll try the bunt one more time. And uh, we get the little funny a, funny E, sorry, and we end up with a 13 on that roll. And uh, there was a bunt, and uh, there was an error on that play that was going to uh, uh, be charged, I believe, to the second baseman, to Lejoie, um, who I'm guessing bobbled the uh, throw or something like it. Here comes Jimmy Williams now with one runner in scoring position, another on first base, one out here in the top of the eighth inning. We give him a good shake and a good roll, and he gives us a walk. Leaphart loses him, and uh, now we have uh, the infield in, 
Hoffman coming up, and uh, we're actually going to swing away with him. Let's see what happens if we can break this game open. And he gets it. He gets the base hit over second base and scores two. Williams goes to third base. Hoffman now is the runner at first base, and the Browns have a 3-1 to one lead. And this game's exciting all of a sudden. Here comes Roy Hartzell, and Hartzell hits a fly ball over to center field. That will score one, and uh, one runner comes in, and there are two outs now, and the game is now, the score is now Browns four, Naps one. And Jones walks, and boy, Leavehart is starting to get his lunch out of there. And uh, there's a little fly ball in the end to right field. Hinchman takes it in, and that does that. Hinchman now leading off the inning for Cleveland. Fans are pretty upset about that so far, at least the fans that are willing to brave the cold to come to this game. These games in early April were just absolutely brutal for the fans. Hinchman, though, gets into one, and it goes over to right field. No room for Hartzell to grab it. That one is gone. See you later, baby. Four to two, just like that. And boy, we have a ball game, don't we? Bradley gets a little ground ball to second base. LeJoie makes the play, and there's one away. Birmingham now also hits that over to uh, Larry LeJoie, and uh, that makes two. Here comes pairing, and we're going to have more E fun. And there's yet another error, second of the game on the Browns, and this one is charged to Wallace. Wallace, normally a pretty good fielder, but um, wasn't able to quite get it that time. Two uh, balls here in a row on Clark. And that ends up being a ground ball there to a shortstop, and that'll do it. Top of the ninth inning, and it's the pitcher, Jack Powell, who's coming up for St. Louis. You better believe we're leaving him in. And he rewards us by getting us the base hit to right field. <clears throat> Four to two Browns now. Runner on first base, Powell, who is slow. Stone doesn't care, though. He gets the base hit, and uh, Powell will stay at second base. Thank you very much. And here comes Bobby Wallace. And we have to wonder about how much longer we want Liebhardt to stay in this game. It's four to two. He's given up 12 hits, two walks, two strikeouts, though. And um, he gets Wallace to pop out over there to uh, center field to Birmingham, one away. But then with Hope Ferris comes in, coming up, he gives up the base hit. One scores, and uh, Stone goes to third base. So Powell able to score. I'm sorry. Powell does not score. Powell is thrown out at home. And, uh, boy, this doesn't make it very clear, does it? Yeah. So we're going to have to uh, pause a little bit. And yes, Ferris gets the base hit, able to go to second base. But what happens here is Powell is thrown out at home uh, because of that S rating that he has. Yep. S out at home, a batter to second, uh, left fielder to catcher. And so that's Stone out there making that play. Now they're two away. And boy, that really backfired, didn't it? Maybe we should have pinch hit for Powell. We'll see if that has an effect here later on in the game. Williams up, he, he uh, fouls one off to a Stovall. That brings up Glenn Liebhardt. Now, I will tell you the truth. Baseball in this era was not actually that common for them to pinch hit for the uh, pitcher at the very end of the game. There are box scores you can find where they didn't do it. We're going to do it here, though. We're going to put Terry Turner in here for the uh, pitcher spot for the Naps, in large part because I know that later on in the season, if this uh, replays anything like real life, every single win in every single game could count. And uh, Turner rewards me by striking out, and there's one away. Here comes Napoleon, and uh, there's a ball to him. And I'm knocking this camera around all over the place. And he gets a base hit. Of course he gets a base hit. That's what he is. That's what his name is synonymous with. Clark now with a runner on first base. We're going to hit and run. Gets a single to right field. That sends LeJoie over to third. But Clark then foolishly attempts to steal second base. Not really that foolish because he is the tying run. Um, but uh, it would be much more wise of him if he would make sure he would he can get the base first before he steals. George Stovall now is the last chance. Two outs now. Runner on third base. Four to two Browns. And he will hit a fly ball over to center field. And uh, Hoff Hoffman's got a beat on it. And that does that. Boy, I sure hope that you enjoyed that game. That's pretty fast, under 15 minutes. If you like that, subscribe for more. We'll have a game for you every day. And uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you can see the dice, uh, if I should do something else, what you think we should do here going forward with MP3. This is a fun game. I'll tell you that. See you tomorrow. Bye.